Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome once more to Might and Magic 3, and hopefully the last of my post-play commentary episodes, for a little while at least. Yeah, I've just been really, really, really just not with it due to all the stress. So let's, let's, let's try and have some fun here. Back to Swamp Town. We're going to try and clear the area around it. I have gone ahead and found some really nice gear I would love to keep. Oh, I hope nothing bad happens to it. <sighs> Let's go through and start the next section of this island. Or this, uh, I guess they're continents, not islands, but I guess they're also islands, so that works. Oh no, we seem to have some creatures over here. Let's get this section up here. We'll start on the top and just lawnmower our way down. Just go back and forth, back and forth. That kind of stuff goes. So we got creatures. Looks like we got more robbers over here. I don't know if they're the same thing or what, but there's a ton of them. So we shall have to see. Fortunately, they go down real quick. Even if there's a bob of them. The only real danger is that they do poison. They don't hit for a lot. They go down quick. They have a lot of treasure, so... It's not too rough. It's just, you know, annoying. And of course, since the top is uneven, I gotta do these a little bit at a time. Yeah, like 500 gold and 5 gems per. That's not bad at all. And there's the skulls! The skulls on spikes that the linguist skill is supposed to let me understand. Climb the steps to Mount Keystone to find the shack that stands alone. Shatter the case with fantastic might and take the card of golden light. Which I already did. Which, uh, it's useful. I guess these are guys are going to tell me how to deal with the end game, to try and at least get me towards it. Provided I don't get killed by rogues. Deliver eleven orbs to your king of choice and give his followers cause for rejoice. Take the reward you will then acquire to the ancient pyramid on the Isle of Fire. So yeah, it looks like we got we have to do at least one of those space things. Whoops, what was that? In the heart of the Minotaur Marsh, you'll find the Dungeon of a Thousand Halls that wine. Enter the halls of the Golden Key and an ultimate adventure you're likely to be. That's because that's like the ultimate dungeon in here. And I found some quicksand. While my levitate was not up. Great. But I think I can go without it. No, wait. My main two guys are down. Oh, no. Can I get through here? Am I going to get through here? Please tell me I can survive. Gee, I wonder how long it's been since I've saved the game. Well, at least we're out of that. We're going to come down here real quick and go back to town and raise myself. Res myself. As soon as I can get on the right map. Just use this one. I got the money now. 24,000 gold. That's not bad. I had deposited the rest, you see. We need to go to the next section. And we find this guy again with a... Clue on the vampire castle. And let's keep going. Dealing with the tree golems. It's not too bad. Clearing this away, strip by strip. I mean, somebody's got to do it. It is a good way to make a lot of experience, so there is that. 
more creatures. Let's go back in here. Well, they're definitely not as thick as the last ones. Seek the castles on the Isles of Illusion and write the curse that was cast in confusion before the mages slip into eternal slumber. They will each give half of their magic number. Gotta get that levitate up. Can't forget that. Oh, look, a pyramid. So we got another pyramid out here. Getting these tree golems down. Nice, nice. Keep on going. More of these rubbers. There's the pyramid. Let's pop in real quick. The main engine sector. Yeah, uh, that looks dangerous. I'm going to get out of there. It's like a robot with a TV for a torso. Enter the pyramid on the fiery isle to face the final test and trial. The hologram cards of six will gain access to the computer's brain. Okay. So I gotta get six hologram cards. I'm just taking more of these robbers down. And something is buried in the bog. Dig it up. A minotaur. Can we take it? Oh, one shot at two of us. Oh, oh no! Oh, we're just getting ripped up. I hope I saved recently, except no. No, I did not. The last time I saved was actually last episode when I was way over here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to where I, uh, uh, after I stopped screaming, because I lost some really awesome armor and weapons. I just, you know, clear it again. Well, one moment. I got back to where I was. It took a couple minutes, but that's fine. And, uh, yeah, something is buried in the bog. Dig it up, and I'll try Minotaurs. Try number two, except this time I saved right before it, if you didn't see. And no, this guy just hits like a damn truck. He hits harder than a truck. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with this guy. And, um, no, I don't... I don't think that I can. He's just one-rounding everybody. Just reload the game, but now I know which space to skip. So now... I can skip that space. And I can go back to town and raise people. I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, beacon back to town. Or beacon back to civilization. And go res and get everybody healed up and then try to explore some more. Yeah, it's a uh, tough... Tough deals to exploring around there. This is an easy way to just get uh, get wrecked. Go ahead and get everybody back up. Uh, heal us all up. Let's see if we can't get any more information. I guess I should probably look at the gear I got. Yeah. So now I'm looking back at the gear, and I lost all this beautiful gear, so I'm basically selling some stuff that I'm not going to use. And then looking at some of the stuff that I am going to use. Lots of bronze stuff I can just toss. And I realized that two of my main characters were just using, like, bare bones shields and helms. In fact, a lot of them are. So literally any helm and shield... I should be equipping on people until I get those things replaced. Same with gauntlets and boots. I've still got people using leather boots. So at this point, I'm basically looking at all the all the stuff I got. I know I really can't use your king or king katana. I uh, can't use a scale armor of that. Now the obsidian and ebony are both pretty good. Need to fix that up. Um. Pyrrhic stuff is just uh, fire resistance. I had a shield of leadership that boosted personality, but I don't. I think I no. There. Uh, what? Do I have it? No, I don't have it. 
yeah, that that unfortunately was lost. So I'm I found awesome weapons. I found some nice obsidian armor. I found an extra set of platinum plate I could sell for money, and all of that was gone. I, I went ahead and cut it out because it was just depressing to look at. So now I'm just sitting here sorting out gear. Yeah, you can tell that some of some of the stuff I have is still bare bones. Ideally, I need to get upgrades in a number of slots still. The silver broadsword might be an upgrade for somebody. Obsidian belt is definitely just extra... extra AC. As is the ebony helm and ebony ring mail. Gonna be better than my magic detection armor. At least there's that. And get the obsidian belt, and that should boost my AC a significant amount. So that much is good. At least that much I can handle. And, uh, just a matter of shifting everything else around. I can get rid of that bronze saber, can't I? The gold scale armor is not going to be useful for me. At least I don't think it is. Yeah, I had so much good stuff and just completely lost it. The sell the the bronze. I guess I, I can get the pearl shield off. Um, oh yeah, I'm not in the shop inventory. I'm doing this on the side. My bad. My bad. I keep wanting wanting to sell stuff. Yeah, so much stuff that looks good on paper, but is not terribly good and needs to be tossed. Man, that's the equivalent of like rolling a 17 then giving in stats in D&D. Then your, your DM's like, oh, we can roll again if you want to try for that 18, and then you roll like a 12. Uh, at least I got one or two upgrades out of it. At least there's that. Could have been worse. I could have got no upgrades out of it. And now I've been talking for almost uh, five, six hours now because I had to redo this twice. Well, I had to do it twice. I had to redo it once. Inventory management, the game. Now I just need to sell all my excess, and we can be done. Yeah, I had no helm on that character. I didn't even know that that uh, mages and druids could wear helms, so... Time to sell all my stuff. Yeah, I still have a basic helm on the first character. So broadsword, don't, don't need it. Don't need the gold scale armor. I was thinking about it for a moment. Get rid of uh, some old stuff. Steel, I don't think, is not great for anything. And we should be good to go. Everything's fixed, everything's sold. I just need to throw the money in the bank to start earning me some more interest. Yeah, one should not underestimate interest-bearing accounts. Especially when your year when your year is only like like five or six days or some something like that. So I just deposit everything I can in the bank. Keep on going. Go back to the swamp town just to finish up the the area around it. I mean, look, there's so much wilderness out there to explore that I just need to get that done. We can worry about dungeons next time. I gotta find out where the next one is. 
But for now... Yeah, let's go ahead and, and get Levitate up so we don't drown in quicksand again. Try to start from the south and get that last quarter of this island mapped out. This is where I was looked looked up against the gargoyles or something last time. Yeah, there's like some gargoyles on the on on the edge there. And there's an entirely different island south of us. Yep, gargoyles. Gargoyles can paralyze, which is unfortunate. I think it wears off pretty quick, but I'm I'm not sure when and I can't afford to just you know, get tagged while I'm paralyzed, so I immediately set about curing paralysis. It takes a lot of uh, spell points. I don't realize just how much, but it does. So keep on going along the edge. So we can start the whole process of exploring this last quarter of the island. Well, we got some progress here, regardless. Yeah, I'm saving, saving off, and now I do not want to go through that all again. That was rough. Let's go down here. And then again. Another gargle. Take it down. And this one. Another route. Now, what I did find out, what the, those faces that I keep passing... Oh, look, trolls. Trolls, yeah. Trolls are just big, beefy, and, and they take a lot of damage, but they go down pretty easy. They hit hard, but they don't hit too hard. Time to save again. Those faces I keep passing, those are idols, and you give them money in order to boost the returns of a treasure you find later. The issue is, is that the money that you give them rapidly increases. Lowest is 100,000 or whatever. And then the largest is a million. And you have to give, or you want to give all of them the money they need? I don't think I've got that much money right in this instant. There's also one that if you give them 10,000, that they go ahead and erase all that you've done. So if you give the money to these statues and then give them the, to the one called the Betrayer, then it just undoes everything. So you've just wasted all that money. So you want to give all of the statues but the Betrayer, I think there's like three or four of them, as much money as they ask for, and then find the treasure, which I believe is in some sort of well. I'm a little bit far away from that, and I don't have quite enough money to give everything everything they want. I would like to get at least to where the bank says two million before I start taking out a million, you know, in gold. So, we're going to have to give this one a miss, even though I wish I could give them the money now. And I might have to make it an episode where I go between episodes and run around and give them money, because I'm going to have to look up where they are, try to remember how much I'm supposed to give them, etc., etc. But I don't want to do it until I've got the cash, because that cash... Right now is king. And then I continue on my way. Yep, there's a nope, there's the same one. It's crossing the border here. That's why enemies pop into place. The gargoyles are not they're rougher than they need to be, but they're not challenging as long as you remember to cure paralysis and get yourself unparalyzed. See, this one's asking for 200,000. Got another dungeon I don't have the key for. And then the next one is, I think, a little while away. As again, save often because I don't want to get wrecked by that stuff again. Coming back the other way. I'm trying to be super careful because this is the area where I encountered that, that Minotaur. Let's take down the trolls. Oh wow, so many trolls. 
But yeah, they go down. They add treasure with them. Can't can't argue with that. I gotta start curing my wounds. I tried to rest, and that was unfortunate. Let's get this troll down so I can rest. There we go. Rest it up. Got levitate up so I don't fall in the quicksand. Deal with more of these monsters. Yeah, they just they just kind of fold if you're not completely wrecked. There you go. More than one person can cure paralysis. Save the game before I, before I die again and lose all that progress. All that progress of taking like 10, 20 steps. And curing the paralysis again, but... I'm not sure if I have to cure everybody at each time, because it does wear off relatively quick. It's not a permanent effect. Alright, this guy's asking for 10,000 to forget. That's the one you don't want to give money to. Because he'll just undo all the other statues' uh, blessings. Yep, getting paranoid with the saves now. I don't think you can blame me. More gargoyles? Oh no! And there's trolls just on the other side of that hill, so... Don't want to go in there paralyzed. Alright. Man, these trolls are goofy looking. Something is buried there. Wow, so much gold, so much treasure. One gem, one gold, and one item. Almost not worth it. 500,000 for that guy to, to do it. So we've got 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, 6, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8. It's 800,000. It's almost a million right there. Found a holy word scroll. Get that on my, uh, my cleric. Nice, nice. And there's 1 million. So 1 million, 800,000 they want. So yeah, I'm going to need at least 2 million before I can even try to turn those in. And this should get me back up to here. I'm going to save the game a little bit, hopefully. Got to get levitate up before people die in the quicksand. Save the game. Divine Intervention Scroll, yes. Don't even know what that does, but I got it now. And this should be the Minotaur, yeah. I'm gonna try the Minotaur one proper time. And he instantly kills my main guy. My main tank. Alright. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to cast a chance item. But if you cancel your spell, it just skips your turn. Let's try Deadly Swarm. And he kills two of my people. I'm wondering if this guy can be held or something. But, just got obliterated. Let me go back, pick up the... The item. The Divine Intervention. I'm not that far back. Just, just go ahead and keep going. Although I think what might have happened here is I might have had to get a call. There we go. And we get our Divine Intervention spell up again. Save the game again. This time after that. And we're just going to cut it real short in terms of when we encounter that creature. There we go. Now we've got that one space where we don't necessarily have to dig it up. Am I going to try my luck again? I 
can't even remember if I try my luck again. So I'm trying to figure out where do I go next? There's so many places to go, but where can I go? That's the real question. So I know I can't take that thing on. So I'm gonna have to find some sort of dungeon. Oh, we're still facing off with it with these. The leftovers, so to speak. So there is a dungeon that I have there's a couple dungeons I haven't finished. There's one underneath Burning Heights, and yay, I get to level up. Nice, nice. Get a couple levels under my belt. But yeah, there's the dungeon under Burning Heights, which is Heights, which is something I haven't finished yet. And but there's also that one with the jouster, and I'm thinking I've got just enough time left here to go run down and check out whether I can deal with those guys. Let me make sure I've got some space. I did pick up some interesting items. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, everybody's backpack gets full. That's not great. Because that means that even if I find items, I can't really pick them up. So, not a great situation to be in, but I've still got some inventory space over there. So does Arcadius. Yeah, so I've got inventory space. Faith, Arcadius, Ophelia all have inventory space, so that's fine. So the real question is, can I take a Jouster? But first, let's clear out some of these items. Gold mace, don't need it. Don't need that plate, or that item, or that, uh, katana. Yeah, just cleared up a little bit of space, not a problem. Don't need a leather halberd. Jesus. Alright. With a clear inventory and good, and good funds, which I can probably pop in the bank, right? Are we going to hit the bank, or are we just going to go direct to where I thought we were going to go? I can't remember anymore. I just recorded this a couple hours ago. Man. That's what stress does to you. It'll it'll uh, turn your memory full of holes. And make you forget things like basic mic checks before you record three hours worth of gameplay. Alright. Deposit that gold. And deposit some of them gems while we're at it. So we certainly don't need that many on us. All of it gains uh, interest in the bank. At least I think they do. I know they do in Zine. I'm pretty sure that at least the money gains interest in this one. I don't know if the gems do. I think they do. And now I'm sitting there going, wow, which place do I go to next? I think that I'm going to end up going to the Warrior Keep. But this is where I, I took a little time here just to figure out where I need to go. And... Not much to do, but uh, figure it out. Alright. Once we're moving again, now that we've figured out where to go, kind of rush down there. So we did make progress, even though it didn't seem like it. Got some levels. Got some more of the map cleared. Figured out a few places to go next. And honestly, got some tips for what will be the end game. So, that much is good. Let's go in here, try and clear one of these spaces out. This is where I look into the corner here, and a thought occurs to me. I never came in here and and, uh, and got these locks. So I may have to come back here again with Scorn once I, and the level boosting fountain. 
see if I can't get here in one day. Because this is a little bit far away. But I should be able to get down here with enough time to pop some chests. Find out what's inside them. I'm gonna bust down these doors and basically try to go in far enough to face off against a jouster or so. Or at least find a jouster. Make sure I clear places which I have not cleared yet. Yep, paranoid with saves. That's fine, though. I mean, if nothing else, there's there's war there's dwarves and evil rangers to kill down here. So, yep, there we go, evil ranger central, and the mad dwarves. They go down pretty quick, and there's two jousters. Oh no! So there's one. Fortunately, they don't seem to be able to come together to face me two at a time. But I came in here with limited health, already wounded. Need to find a really damaging spell. Fantastic Freeze? Dragon Breath? Finger of Death? Dragon Breath. No Fantastic Freeze. Trying to find something, get my people back up on their feet. So, Cold Ray. At this point, I'm not even sure if this is going through them or not. Or even hitting them at all. But here's the thing. This Cold Ray... A Cold Ray and a Lightning Bolt both would have hit both, both that guy and the guy behind him. So if this guy goes down and the other guy comes up wounded, then I will know it went through both of them even though there was no feedback indicating that as such. So if you see two of them, it might be worth going uh, with nothing but cold rays and lightning bolts, uh, provided that it actually gets them. Tried the dragon breath again. Just dumping that power cure on everybody. And the druid's down. Got the jouster down to red, so we can take him down at some point. Come on, almost there. Energy blast. Out of, out of uh, energy for the power cure. And that one went down, the other one advanced and is wounded. So yes, the coal ray and such did hit both of them. The problem is, is that I'm so wounded that I'm not going to make it. Not against the second jouster. And there's one character dead. And the rest will follow suit. So the real question is, can I take them one at a time instead of two at a time? Because I clearly can't take them two at a time. Crunch. I had to save, so let's take a look. Let me clear back to the one, and at least try one of them at a time. Or at the very least, clear the dwarves and such before that. Let's go back down there. Make sure I got everything on the map. Although, isn't there another corridor to clear? I guess I can do that too. But first, let's clear these. Alright. Save the game. There's another dwarf. And then there's two jousters, but I managed to clear just one. So can I take out just one of them? Well, I'm trying Finger of Death, even though I 
probably shouldn't. I mean, it probably won't hit. Let's see what happens. Kind of get everybody healed back up so that I can at least try to make this a, a good run. Go with Dragon Breath? No, nah, go with, uh, go with Lightning Bolt. Or Fireball? Lightning Bolt? One or the other? Oh, don't tell me you're going to, am I going to Energy Blast? Okay, I'm going to Energy Blast. Sure, why not? Don't need Cure Paralysis, I need a Power Cure. Cure Wounds, something like that. Deadly Swarm is hitting them. And now my 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 sorcerer is just way in the negatives. Cause I am not popping her up. And now this jouster is making short work of me. Got our paladin down. And he's just wrecking me. Well, we took one of them out before, but not this time, I guess. Yeah, gotta get that power cure on. And nope, just down to the last two. And crunch again. Well, on that note, I'm gonna come back in. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there and try this again next time. Actually, first, I'm going to go over here. And, uh, yeah, remember that one space that I said I ain't cleared yet? Well, let's clear it. Well, let's clear it until we face another Jouster. That's that's the important part. It's not that I have something to begin against, you know, mad dwarves or evil rangers. It's just, hey, they're, they're experienced. And study your map carefully. Okay. And try to bash that open. Save the game first. And evil ranger time. Come on, take it down. And then instantly find two jousters and just run! Get the hell out of here! Run! And there we go. And I think that's enough of that. So we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, leave it off here. Until next time, take care and goodbye. And if you are still watching, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my supporters, the top tiers of which are listed on the screen without whose support I would not have been able to offer the variety of content that I have on this channel throughout the years. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to join them, you can support the channel. Uh, there are a variety of options to do so. I have a Patreon, a Subscribestar, as well as channel memberships enabled. If you are not in a position to contribute, simply leaving a like, a comment, or sharing my videos are all wonderful ways to help the channel grow without spending a dime and are all greatly appreciated. 